Hey guys, really quick. I was in somebody's live feed, and of course, when I talked about not getting high on marijuana, a bunch a bunch of people flipped out on me. Like usual, there's always at least that one or two people that claim to be Christians that get high on marijuana. Um, I used to get high on marijuana all the time. It was something that God told me that I wasn't supposed to do anymore. That party time was over, that we are in the end times, and that we're not supposed to be getting high. We're supposed to be vigilant and stay sober because our adversary, the devil, is roaming around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. Um, I don't know if I got that Bible verse quoted correctly, but word for word, but you know what Bible verse I'm talking about and what it means. So we're supposed to stay sober. When we're getting high on marijuana, we're not sober. Okay, so we all know that one. And a lot of people discredit that verse because they always go to Genesis where it talks about God gave every plant bearing seed for food. Okay, so for one, it's for food. All right, so not for smoking. Okay, well, then people are like, well, what about brownies? And what about those little gummy bears? Okay, that's food. Okay, now listen. A lot of people say, oh, well, weed's natural and God gave us every plant bearing seed. So it's natural. So God gave it to us for us to uh, enjoy, you know, and there's also the Bible verse about, you know, how God gave us things to enjoy and, uh, you know, we should be able to enjoy marijuana. He gave it to us. It's a natural plant and uh, we should be able to enjoy it. Um, You know, even if we're getting high and being ridiculous on it and everything else and making all these bad choices on it, it doesn't matter because God gave it to us and it should be a great thing. And let me clarify something before I go forward with this. I'm not talking about CBD. Okay. I'm not talking about the extraction of CBD and using it for health purposes as far as cancer or, or seizure medication. I'm not talking about that. And God knows your heart. If you're using CBD, the, not the THC element that gets you high. CBD does not get you high. If you're using that element for any medical purposes, God knows your heart. He knows whether you're using it to get high or not. You know, if you're using it for medical purposes, for CBD to help with pain or with seizures or cancer patient, God knows your heart. CBD is okay. But when it comes to high doses of THC where you're getting high, it is a sin and it is wrong. We are supposed to be vigilant and sober. Okay, so back to the verse about God gave every plant bearing seed. The one that everyone wants to use as an excuse. And the one I used to use as an excuse all the time when I smoked weed every single day, day in and day out. I don't do it anymore because God told me party time's over. We're in the end days. It's time to be vigilant and sober. It's, it's time. And God had enough of it with me. He said, it's time. I've been patient with you all this time. You either chose me or you choose yourself. And it was hard. Don't get me wrong. It was hard to quit smoking marijuana for me. You know, I'm still in situations where I'm tempted around people who smoke marijuana. You know, it's hard. It was like taking a binky from a baby. It was hard, you know. Um, But, you know, the main thing, would you really want God to part the sky and then him... God parts the sky right now and you're smoking a bong with your buddies. You really think God's going to be happy about that? Be honest. Be honest. Because I had to ask myself that. You really think God's going to be happy if he waltzed in the front door right now? Said, all right, it's time. Let's go. And you're sitting there smoking on a pipe or a doobie or off a bong. You really think he's going to be happy? I don't think so. And I had to be honest with myself. I knew it was wrong. Okay? So let's be honest for one. Okay, for two. Okay, so back to the... I'm getting sidetracked. So back to the God gave every plant bearing seed. Okay? Seed. Now think about that. How do plants in the wild seed? Think about it. Male and female. Right? Just like anything else with offspring. You have a male and you have a female. They get together. They create offspring. It's no different out in the wild for the marijuana plant. 
But see, what we're doing is, which is not natural, is we are taking the seed, the male plant, away from the female plant in order to make the female plant produce more THC so we can get off on our little high. That is not natural. If you are to go out in the wild, if you are to go out in the wild, you will find marijuana plants. Also known as hemp. This is why they call it ditch weed or bunk weed because it does not get you high. It has a 0.1 to 0.5% chance of having THC in it or content 0.1% THC to 0.5% THC. You would literally have to smoke two buses full of hemp to even get a minuscule buzz off of it. This plant was not made naturally to get you high. We have taking the seed, you know, the one where God gave us, and have taken it away. Do you see how contradictory that is when you use that Bible verse? And God just told me this today when I was in a live stream. And everybody started using that Bible verse. Well, God, every, it's natural. And God, every plant bears seed. And it's natural. It's natural. It's not natural what we are doing to this plant in order to make more potent THC in the female plant to get high. It is not natural. And nobody is speaking about this. And marijuana is going... Marijuana is like just flourishing and we got dispensaries all over the United States now and it's just like it's okay to get high everybody everybody get high let's just everybody get high it's like the government's like okay everybody let's just all why don't all of you just go get high and get more comfortable so we can just brainwash you even more because you brainwash a lot easier when you're doped up it's true and a lot of people think that they're really smart when they're on marijuana. You know? And I thought, oh, wow, I'm so much more creative when I'm on marijuana. So much more creative. But now that I'm out of it and I'm looking back at it, I've made 20 songs to the Lord Jesus Christ. 20. In the one year, over one year, that I've been off of marijuana. Versus the 20 years I was on marijuana and I made like, what, one song to the Lord? The rest of them were all just whatever else or little gifs or whatever. How creative is that? To the Lord. Not, not creative. You know? A lot more creative when I'm sober. But that's just me. But as far as the Bible verse and why it's unbiblical is because literally you are taking that seed away. But in the same contradictory sentence saying that God gave every plant bearing seed, but yet you're taking that seed away and in the same sentence calling it natural. Do you see how hypocritical and how contradicting that is to use that Bible verse when you are literally taking God's natural creation and tearing it apart and calling it natural because that's what you're doing. Think about it. Be honest. <laughs>